Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is episode 10 of creating a um, page uh, layout ideas book. Um, we've done a couple of pages already. We put the um, journal together. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a, um, a learning journey. Lots of mistakes along the way. Um, but we are getting there. Hope you're having fun with it. If you haven't um, seen any of the previous versions, then I will link them in the descriptor below, um, just in case you want to pop over and have a look at those. Um, so today we're looking to do, we want something that's going to go over two pages. So we want the pages that are quite similar in colour. Now we can either go with this one here, or we can go with this one here. This one is probably more my favourite, so I think I'll have less struggling filling, um, crossing this one over or covering most of this page. Um, so, okay, I think we're going to go with that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to look and find some paper that will match um, those pages. So... Um, now this is a different pad to the one I was using in here, so I may not actually find something that's suitable. Um, so maybe it's too clashy. It's too clashy. And that's a maybe. Okay, so we'll go with this one as a starting point. And we shall see what we come up with. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we're going to do, and I'm just going to take some measurements, it's going to work out how much of a page we've got to work with. So we have got, if we work in centimetres, we've got just over 14 centimetres wide, and we have got uh, 20 centimetres in length. Okay. So, I think we want to come out not too far. So, I'm going to look at creating something that is 12. This is, I think, where I'm going to have to... No. Okay, so if we say 12... And 12 there. And... Let's go with, let's go with 18 there and there. That's going to be for our first piece. Um, so I think we'll do that first of all because we've got the card for that already. So we're looking for 24 centimetres across, which should be 12 inches. No, it's not, is it? Of course it's not. 24 centimetres across, which is here. And we said 18 down. Excuse me holding this really strangely, but I don't ever give myself enough room on the desk to work. So this here should be our main piece. Not a hundred hundred percent sure on the, the mix in that but um but it's okay. So what we're going to do, first thing, is we're going to either score down the middle or just fold down the middle so we can get a nice centre crease. I 
and I'm just going to take off these corner edges. Okay, so this is going to be almost like our um, base board, um, base surface. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to fold this over our page here. It's going to cover two pages. We're going to fold it over here. We're going to attach it across the top and the bottom and just down this red side here, which will give us a nice deep pocket. Uh, and on the, this one here, we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to attach it across the top and the bottom, but down the left hand side to give us a nice deep pocket. Do you know what? I'm not really sure on that colouring. Let me have a quick look and see what else there is. It's on the other side of this one. We've got that, we can't do that. I mean, that goes here really well. Um, so I'm not overly bothered about that. This side, not so well, but again, um, that's not the end of the world. I don't think I've got anything else that I can use it for. Possibly that one. There and there, but that's more of a grey colour than a brown, I think. And just have a look through the camera. No. Oh, we don't want to cover that. Don't really want to cover that. I don't really want to cover that. So, unless we change our mind, we're going to have to go with this. See, if I turn that over, I think it's going to be too busy. go with it. Mm, yeah, okay, we're going to have to go with that, I think. So our next piece, for our second piece, I think we want to, not too much of a difference, I think if we go with 17, It's only 18 to start with, isn't it? 18 centimetres. If we go with 15 centimetres and across, we want, say, six and six centimetres. Okay, just measure this to see if we would have... too short on that one but we could potentially make it work although I think a, a different colour is going to be better suited okay so back to our I mean the great thing that this does do is it gives you a lot of um, scraps that you can then use later on. I think I'm going to go with this one here. Okay, now that's a bit too big. For what I was hoping for, and that's not quite big enough. But if we went across, we said 12, didn't we? We can capture all of this section here 12 and 15. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this section off here. I've never seen anybody um, work so manically before. Um, tools all over the place. Crazy, crazy. So that is 12 and we want it by 15. So 
So I'm going to go in the center here. Okay. So I'm going to fold that in half again. I'm just going to use our bum folder. Firm that up, and we are going to take off those corners. Okay, and that is going to sit over here, and that is going to give us. We can either have them as pockets, or you can have them as tucks, um, whichever you prefer. But it's a double technically a double pocket um, over two pages. Okay, so let's just quickly ink around these edges here. There's so many things I've got on my things to do list. Um, and do you know what? Some of them would take literally, sorry, I didn't mean to throw that across the table. Um, so many of them would take seconds or minutes and I just keep putting them off. Um, and one of them is changing the foam head on this because it literally is starting to um, come off in pieces all over my desk, which isn't a good look. Um, and I'm sure I will get round to altering that. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> um, and again, what we're going to do at the end of this project is we are going to embellish things um, a little more. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, I just want to get the page layouts down. So, with this one here, I think, we are going to start by... Both of these I want as, um, I want both of these as pockets. <clears throat> and so I might cut a little bit out of that just so that it makes getting hold of things in there easier. I'm going to blind myself one of these days because those things fly up and hit me in the eye um, every two minutes. I also had, um, I went to the dentist, uh, the dentist, I've got the dentist tomorrow, went to the opticians um, and I have to have a new um, prescription um, because uh, obviously my eyesight has changed since my last one. Um, uh, and tr they're try and trialing me even with very focals, which I've never ever worn before. Um, and in, I won't lie, it actually makes me feel quite old. Um, but I had... A fitting for those last week so I'm waiting for those to arrive so that will be interesting to see what happens when I get those home with me okay so all I'm going to do here is I'm gonna glue down that middle section here and just across the bottoms on both of those I'm gonna find where I want that it doesn't have to be dead center you could have it more at the top more at the bottom whatever you prefer and I'm just gonna glue that see this is where I need my art glitter glue <clears throat> okay so we're just gonna glue that and we've got ourselves a nice little pocket in there and we're gonna do exactly the same over here now we're just gonna glue the top and the bottom uh, I mean if you want to sew around these then go for it um, the reason I'm not sewing around them is because they're Tim Holtz paper, so it's quite thick anyway. Um, but if you want it to be more decorative, then definitely go ahead and sew around there. <clears throat> okay, so for my first one, I think I'm going to have... I'm going to do this as a pocket. So again, I'm just going to glue 
down this centerpiece here. Across the top here and the bottom. I actually like the inside of that piece now, but it's a bit late. So we'll find where we want to put that and literally just fold that over. On the other side, I think just to give us a little bit of difference, I'm just going to glue down this bottom section here. We've already glued across the middle, but it doesn't hurt if you want to put a tiny bit more in there, just for stability's sake. And we're going to glue this bottom bit here. And so that will give us a two page flip over, if you like. On this first page here, and you'll have to excuse this page for being a little bit off center. So on this first page here, we've got a nice deep pocket here, and we've got another pocket here, and we are gonna embellish this later on. And then on the other side, we could have had exactly the same, but what we've gone for is another pocket here, and a really nice deep tuck spot here. So if you are looking for ideas to quickly fill some of your journals, um, and just add a little bit of interest, it's a perfect option. Um, two pockets on the one side, a pocket and a flip on the other side. I'm not 100% sure on the colour matches, um, but hopefully once we start to embellish this, it will look a lot um, brighter. But as a page layout concept goes, um, I really quite like this idea. So I hope you found it useful. Um, that is it for episode 10. And <clears throat> until I see you again, take care for now. Bye.